Thank you. Um, I'm really totally overwhelmed to be here, so I apologize if I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I have to say I really, truly am humbled to be here tonight to share this incredible honor with such a tireless champion of press freedom and two of the most uncompromising and accomplished journalists in America. Thank you for helping us understand what's actually going on in the world around us, and even more important, why. I wouldn't be standing here without the support and love of many people that I also need to thank. My family, my parents, my sister and brother-in-law, my son and daughter, my partner, thank you for teaching me, encouraging me, and most important, putting up with me. And what my son James recently observed is a habit of becoming completely obsessed with whatever film I'm working on. I have a feeling I'm not the only one in this room for whom that could be said. Um, there are actually so many people in this room that I would like to thank, and I cannot name everyone. Um, Steve Adler, Don Baer, Dalton Delan, and especially Paula Kerger, president and CEO of PBS for the past 12 years. Thank you for being such a fearless champion of public media, as well as a great role model, mentor, and friend. And most important, I'm grateful to Ken Burns, our producer Sarah Botstein, and our writer Jeffrey C. Ward, who for nearly 30 years have taught me so much about the craft of filmmaking, the art of storytelling, and the joy of making something meaningful together. For my entire career, I've had the privilege of working in public television, where we have the time and space to tell complicated, nuanced, authentic stories, true stories about what actually happened based on facts that we scrupulously check and double check. We explore every topic from all sides with an open mind, and we don't advocate for a particular point of view. And even though we are neither journalists nor historians, we do try to hold ourselves to the highest standards of journalistic ethics, which is why it's an especially great honor for our work to be recognized tonight by the Reporters Committee and the community of journalists that set such a high bar for professional integrity. Our gratitude to journalists and news organizations also has a more concrete dimension. We literally could not do what we do if it was not for the reporters, photographers, camera crews, TV and radio producers who came before us. They witnessed history as it was happening and they recorded it. And when it came to covering wars, getting the story was and still is extremely dangerous. In the Vietnam War, we discovered that more than 200 photographers and journalists were killed. We acknowledge their sacrifice in our film, but our debt to those brave men and women can never be repaid. The Vietnam War also showed me just how critical the freedom of the press is to our democracy and how fragile. Every administration involved in the war lied to the press and to the American people about what they were doing. And then they tried to denigrate and intimidate journalists and news organizations when their coverage revealed the inconvenient truths of what was actually going on. It was so powerful to see time and again the institutions of the free press defending the public's right to know in the face of unrelenting pressure. One of the highlights of the project for me was getting to interview one of my heroes, Neil Sheehan, who covered the war for UPI and the New York Times, and in 1971, helped bring the Pentagon Papers to light. With great passion, he recalled how he felt when the Supreme Court struck down the Nixon administration's injunction and the Times resumed publication. When I first saw this material, Neil said, I vowed to myself, this is never gonna go back into a government safe again. The American public had paid for it with the lives of their sons and with their treasure, and it has to be published. And when the presses started to roll, he remembered, it was an exquisite moment of vindication of freedom of the press in this country and how important it is. And I have to say that was a triumphant moment in our film and in the history of our country. But right now I feel it's also very bittersweet. The threats to press freedom, as has been said many times tonight, are more acute than ever before. And given the chaos and disinformation all around us, our need for a free press feels more urgent than at any time in my adult life, and I'm always very happy when I click on the Washington Post website and see their motto, democracy dies in darkness. It could not be more true. So like a lot of us, 
I don't sleep all that well these days, but I sleep a little bit better knowing that the Reporters Committee is in the trenches fighting for reporters' ability to do their work and for the freedom of information. I'm so happy to know that the committee also provides invaluable assistance to documentary filmmakers so their important voices can be heard. And I will just close by saying that I am so grateful to all journalists who are creating a record of the world we are living in so that future generations will be able to tell the story of what actually happened in our time. Thank you.